As the war in Ukraine prolongs, Russians have started using more and more terrifying weapons in the war. The latest in the list is a 2S7 Malka. It's the most powerful self-propelled artillery gun in the world. It's a Soviet-era Hobitzer that can fire the 203mm artillery rounds. To give you a perspective of how powerful this gun is, let's compare this Hobitzer with the M777 Light Hobitzer which India bought recently from the US. The M777 Hobitzer fires the 155mm round, whereas the Malka fires the 203mm round. The weight of M777 is 4.2 tons, whereas the weight of Malka is 46.5 tons. The range of M777 is just 24 kilometers, whereas that of Malka is 38 kilometers and can be increased to 48 kilometers using rocket assisted shells. The M777 is a towed howitzer, whereas the Malka is a self propelled artillery. The M777 has a rate of fire of 2.5 rounds. The Malka also has 2 rounds per minute in spite of its huge size. Both the howitzers require a crew of 7 to operate. The sound of this artillery is so loud that an unprepared soldier would collapse while firing it. Hence this weapon has an audible firing alarm that rings for 5 seconds before firing. This Soviet era weapon is built upon Russia's heaviest T-80 tank chassis. This weapon was scrapped in favor of rocket artillery by Russia and other former Soviet republics but was now brought back with upgrades like replacing the manual operation with a new digital fire control system new running gear and electronics. This weapon was originally created to fire nuclear artillery shells during the Cold War. So what is it used for? The 2S7 Malka fires a 203mm shell which neutralizes heavily fortified targets of its enemies. One shot from this weapon can fully destroy a building used as a stronghold. A weapon like this can cause huge damage to the enemy in the battlefield. Its flip side is that it could cause considerable collateral damage and can flatten cities to ground. Russia first used this weapon in Afghanistan and then in the first and the second Chechen wars. The Ukrainians also inherited about 100 of these weapons from the former Soviet Union. It was put in cold storage back then. Now it's revived and being brought back to war. 